practically me on. And it's happened again. It's time for Titley's Revenge, partly because I'm going to spend a couple of hours dealing with the hedge over there. But there's also a lot of other tidying up I need to do in the garden. A lot of the things that flower in the summer have just about finished. There's a few autumn flowers coming through and I need to make sure there's space for them. I'm going to wait for him to finish going meh and then I'm going to get my noisy toys out. Waiting for Mr Noisy over there to finish being noisy, I'm going to plant up some cauliflower seeds for the winter. These were kindly sent to me by Sean from the Horticultural Channel. He's a nice man, he's a very nice man, he's a lovely man, he's a nice man, he's our Sean, he's lovely, Ooh, he likes, oh yes he's lovely. So let's pop some in. So I've got some compost in a pot, it's about a four inch pot. The seeds are tiny, tiny, tiny. I'm just going to sprinkle them over the surface. Sprinkle on about a quarter of an inch of fine compost and give them a gentle water. The idea really is just to have some cauliflower early next year before all the cabbage white butterflies arrive. Something else I want to do concerns my lemongrass. They're doing quite well and some of them I'm going to start harvesting soon but I want to try and keep a few of them over the winter but they're poking out the bottom of the pot. So my plan is to put two or three of these into a larger pot like this one. We'll just tease the roots apart at the bottom here so that hopefully I can pull them through. Let's see. Out you come. There we go. Ho ho ho, look at all these roots. I wonder if I'm going to be able to get three in here. Well, the answer seems to be, yes, you can. Oh, yes, I can. Right, I'll just fill in the voids with some compost. Give them a good watering. And I'm going to try overwintering these in the house to see if they survive or not. Never having grown lemongrass, I'm kind of keen to experiment, especially in a temperate climate. Right, it's time. You know what I'm saying. But first I need to hack a path through here. By the way, these are all coming out at the end of this season. I'm going to completely re-sculpt this end of the garden. days somebody's going to invent a device which has a cutter here, a vacuum attached, goes to a mulcher and then puts all this crap in a bag. Until then I'm stuck with this. Okay let's guess how many bags I'm going to fill with this stuff. It's going to be double digits easily. So I've done about a third of the hedge. There's actually not a breath of wind at the moment and I'm really sticky. But let me show you what I mean about some issues I have in this corner of the garden. There are some lovely plants around here. I've got some really nice hostas but they're stuck in the corner. I never get to see them and they're just snail food. These lilies are being swamped by this yellow flowered thing. And then there are some lovely plants over here that I never get to see mainly because of the giant plants in this centre bed. Wouldn't it be nice if it was the other way around with these giant plants over here and the smaller plants, pretty plants, in the middle? I mean, I like these plants, they're very nice, but they just obscure everything over here. And in the middle of this, there's a slug ravaged lily. Can you spot it? There it is. 
So starting this autumn there's going to be a lot of changes in the garden over there. I'm going to move a lot of the plants around. Hopefully they'll survive, but if they don't, c'est la vie. Oh, look, a mini hand grenade. Where shall we go now? If this foliage is anything to go by, I'm going to have some super parsnips later this year. My French beans are climbing, 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 and I've even got some little beans formed. My onions are probably about ready to lift, but I'll wait for a nice sunny day next week. I'm a bit concerned that there's not enough days left in the year to get any corn off my corn. My leeks are definitely coming on strong. And while I'm in this part of the garden, the butterflies are certainly enjoying the lavender. Well, that's all I've got time for this week. Bit of a short episode, but I've spent most of the time cutting the hedge and I've still got lots to do. I'll be back next week, so please do join me and thanks for watching this week, but come again to Tiddly's Busy Garden. <laughs>